Well, the recordings are done. Now it's on to the animation. And it's 2 in the morning. Why am I up at 2 in the morning? I don't know why. It is just really, really hot right now. But anyway, I just want to make a quick rant on this channel. And yeah, just this. You can take a guess what video I might be doing given the stuff around here. But anyway, rant time. So, you know what? I want to continue moving this just for a bit more effect. Anyway, now I've been playing the Gothic series alongside with um, Taz the Tama Tasmanian Tiger, and I've enjoyed um, Gothic One, though despite it's some of it, I'd say archaic gameplay style. But it's um it's combat style is kind of eh, it's kind of a dark sort of like Dark Souls frustrating, but it's there's a reason for its gameplay and mechanics. But I really enjoyed it, and Gothic Two is just a much better version of it. But uh, yeah, so it was developed by um, Piranha Bytes, and while doing, th while considering to buy more of its games, Piranha Bytes, um, uh, they made the Risen series, and I've been hearing about the Risen series ever since 2009 uh, or 2010. Uh, just it was like at the back of my mind, like it kind of popped up every time the when a new one came out. And I think I understand why a lot of people were frustrated about it because it was trying to be a well, it was trying to be gothic in its mechanics. So, um, so I just wanted to see if I could buy the entire franchise and see if I could get like, see, let's just wait for it to get a good price on it. And so, when I looked it up, I noticed something on Steam. And when I have a look here, look at that. Resin Franchise Pack, the complete Resin Universe in a bundle. It doesn't have Risen 1. And a side note, would anyone pay all of this for fifty four eighty three. Put that in the comments down below. Anyway, I'm just a little curious. To well, I already know the answer, but you're probably wondering why Risen One isn't on in this pack. Well, I did some research, and would you look at it? Risen is one of the banned video games in Australia. It was banned because of sexual activity and drug use related to incentives and rewards. And one this one year after this, they started introducing the R rating system. It might have given Risen uh, another chance because Risen 2 and Risen 3 were able to be released with no problem. And I gotta talk about when the I gotta talk about this in a video about why they did th what why Australia was in this sort of nanny state. It, it though I don't have the details of it right now. Uh, if you look up um, Australian my video game rating system, uh, the Australian video game rating system, you might get a general you'll get a general idea on how the ratings change in Australia. But anyway. Um, since after 10 years, we're in 2021, uh, the ratings, the classification for video games has changed um, dramatically, or enough so that games like Risen could be released, albeit with an R rating right here, like an R18. 
So, um, I kind of wonder now since it's, um, since I know Resin or Piranha Bytes was owned by um, another publisher. I think it was Deep Silver. I think, and then THQ Nordic um, bought uh, Res bought uh, bought Piranha Bytes. But here's the thing. Uh, to anyone who could message or get in contact with Piranha Bytes or THQ Nordic um, to unban or do another reclassification for Risen in Australia. I've tried to contact or put a message through the support and I can't, it, it just won't go through. So this seems to be the only biggest, um, well, the biggest platform I can to rant about this because now, I know this isn't maybe the biggest high priority about it. I mean, there are ways of getting risen from other, from I think Grain Man Gaming and GOG, but it would be nice to have the actual, the whole bundle in one price point. I mean, I think there was like another, uh, another price that they can do. I think, yeah, that they have um, a bunch of other games that they bundle together, but not having the one game missing is kind of, uh, I would say devalued, but, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I can't. Sorry. Ugh. Jeez, the air is really hot. Despite it, it's 2 a.m. Jeez. But anyway. Um. If, again, if someone could just find a way to ask or request the THQ Nordic or someone from Piranha Bytes to go through the um, classification for Risen and sell it onto Steam and actually make that whole whole pack a whole pack because if I was being a bit um, cynical this might just be false advertisement the complete Risen universe in a bundle which is not it doesn't have the first game so this is simply a lie now, of course, this now of course, if they added it in, the price would have increased. I understand that, and also um, there's stuff involving on how to do the classification, and this is a ten-year-old game. But then again, I bought the Gothic series, and that's older than ten years old. So what's stopping them from? releasing or just putting Risen on Steam. I like a reason. That That's what I want to know. A, a reason or put Risen on Steam to for Australians to get the whole Risen franchise pack because this is a really big problem. I mean it used to be much of a bigger problem back in the day like in the 2000s, early 2000s, late 2000s ish, that there's there was like a Australia even to this day we just get region locked for no apparent reason, despite it being the digital age. And I don't know why. And really it's kind of encouraged piracy a lot. I mean, I'm not I mean, it's ironic because Risen 2 is a pirate game from what I remember from what I remember from reviews but no, it's not likely I'm gonna it's not gonna pirate Risen. I'll just rather wait it out. Plus I got other games to contend with. It's just we want 
to spend money on a game albeit for me it's to spend it at a good price but they won't allow it either it be the publisher the, the, the publisher not the developer the publisher or the government of the country but then again when this comes up again it kind of makes you wonder now I, I know it, it's just a stupid little rant but <sighs> oh, you know what I'll tell you, I'm done ranting about it but anyway uh, if you made it to the end of this very mellow quiet rant thing thank you for watching to the end uh, please like and subscribe it brings a smile to my face and if I didn't say it already, just a small update that the uh, video, the video history videos are coming. This one is more focused on a certain terrible iconic beverage that people outside of Australia lo seem to love, but we seem to hate it. You know the one. But that's it. So long. Bye.